joint session of the legislature where they will be convening to see the statues of Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman be unveiled. They have the African American Ensign on the plaque across the roll wall, which was put up in 1961. Since then, we've got a portrait of. Were you hoping that visitors take away from seeing? Frederick Douglass has actually visited the State House, and which is why we wanted to include his statue here. But we did not want to delineate the contributions of Harriet Tubman, who was also another Marylander who needed to be recognized, and the legislature thought that they were both worthy. The difference between the two of them is quite remarkable, so we're very pleased to include that. We have a final recognition at some point. The 60s, 40s, and 50s were the it's the first time that the state is actually recognizing the two contributions of Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass, and it means a lot for our lawmakers to actually recognize them. The public has recognized them for many years, but for our lawmakers to actually write into law that these statues be here is very important. Maryland, who remained with the Union, it was critically important. It required, you know, this is just great grandson, Ken Morris, who went to the studio in New York and had his hands passed to be a model for